What's up, y'all? It's your guy eBay Five Predictions in the building. Uh, this is your UFC 294 full card predictions. Y'all just got back from the the hospital. <laughs> uh, sorry for not streaming yesterday. I was just super super. Uh, I was with I was with the boys and uh, we got a little too lit and uh, I actually ended up in the hospital uh, <laughs> yesterday. So uh, I, I, I had a fun night, but uh, I'm trying to sober up a little bit, a little bored. Uh, it's been like uh, it's been two days, so I've been I've been kind of chilling. Uh, so I, I feel pretty good to go make a video real quick. Uh, I wanted to get this out pretty quickly because usually I get these out earlier and uh, this might come out a little late. But um, yeah, man, I didn't really. I saw uh, the Edson Barboza, uh, Sadiq Yusuf uh, fight night card. Uh, Martinez is him. I uh, told you guys, uh, Martinez is that guy. Uh, that was an incredible performance by him. Completely shut down Adrian Yanez. Uh, I mean, just, yeah, showed levels, man. Uh, him and Ricky Simone, dark horses of uh, the Bantamweight division, man. Just can't wait to see uh, them continue to rise, man. It's going to be really dope. Maybe that probably is the fight to, to make next, honestly, uh, in that division. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. Uh, Jonathan Martinez is, is, is phenomenal. Um, I, he is, he, he's really good, bro. He is the, cho he is the chosen one out of that camp. Uh, th those, those guys, they, they got a, uh, diamond in the dirt over there, man. So, um, I think is it, yeah, Factor X Muay Thai, bro. Honestly, uh, I don't think Gutierrez, I like Hernandez, but I don't think Hernandez, Anthony Smith, they don't, I don't think they got the potential like him. Um, they don't, man. He is really the best out of that, uh, out of that group, bro. <laughs> so, uh, respect to Martinez. Uh, respect to Edson Barboza, uh, my enemy, my, <laughs> the Edson fans. I know you guys are gonna be, uh, clapping and dancing. Uh, that was such a dumb performance by Sadiq, man. I, I was so confident on the Sadiq side. I, I thought Sadiq was on his way to getting a first round KO and he almost had him out of there. Um, Edson, I, I actually had Sadiq winning the first two rounds and then Sadiq giving the, the next three. He ended up getting hurt himself, uh, in that third round. I mean, classic Edson Barboza performance, uh, gets it done. Uh, got, got back in that fight, man. Respect to him for, um, for the comeback victory. So. Yeah, man, can't be too mad about that, but hey, it is what it is. Uh, but besides that, man, let's talk about UFC 294. Um, the changeup of all changeups, the last minute changes of all last minute changes. We go from Islam Makhachev versus Charles Oliveira 2 to Islam Makhachev versus Alexander Volkanovsky 2. We go from Kamzat Chomaya versus Paulo Casa to Chomaya versus Usman. So it's just it's just really one of those crazy crazy pay per view cards that everyone's kind of hyped up for, um, and I, I think it's gonna be bonkers, man. I think it's gonna be one of those cards where like, whoa, what is going on today? But uh, but yeah, man, let's talk about the first fight of the night, the curtain jerker, um, and my God, we got a bit of a hype of debut coming up fighting against Bruno Silva. Uh, Shara Budin uh, Magomedov. Um, I mean, Sh Sh I don't know if I'm saying his name right. Shara Budin Magomedov is shown just to be one of those, uh, one of these Russian cats, but you know, he, he likes to strike, man. He, he goes out there, a uh, bit of a Muay Thai stance, uh, just complete, um, Muay Thai clinching it up and going for the knees and, and attacking. Uh, it should be an interesting fight against Bruno Silva. I mean, he's given guys some hard, uh, fights. I mean, you know, um, obviously the Alex Pereira performance and then obviously his win against Brad Tavares, which is aged pretty well for him. So, you know, Bruno Silva is a, a certain level, uh, but it just seems like, you know, ever since his, uh, GM3 fight and his fight with Brendan Allen, he just doesn't seem like he's on the level of a, of a true top 15 contender. He might have just fought a really, uh, past his prime Brad Tavares and got a win there. But, uh, he's obviously decent, but he's just not to the level where, um, he's going to be, uh, you know, have that ability to fraud check, uh, Magomed, if I just, I just don't, I think the chin is gone too. I think that's another thing is he can't take that much punishment. And, uh, I think Magomed is young enough and he's fresh enough to go get the KO here. So uh, I'm going to take, uh, Magomed actually by a second round TKO, uh, over Bruno Silva. Um, 
nothing against Bruno Silva, but just uh, the damage he's taken uh, against GM3 and Brendan Allen is just not a good look, man. And he loses, even some of his wins, he, he was losing a lot of those fights, you know. I uh, remember the tournament fight, I'll never forget that one. I thought he was on his way to getting choked out, and he gets the KO out of nowhere. So, um, he, he also has an ability to get out grappled. So, I, w I wouldn't be surprised if Magomedov has to go that route to be the better minute winner here um to beat bruno silva so uh but i'm taking magaman up by second round tko um next fight uh jinyu frey versus victoria uh dudakov um i think simple fight here i mean you, you gotta go with the younger girl uh i mean 24 years uh of age um very fresh uh seven and all uh has looked dominant in a lot of her fights uh hasn't fought any like crazy competition but i mean she, look what she did to Estela Nunez, um, just destroyed her. Um, Maria Silva, I mean, she's just kind of shutting these girls out. Ginny Frey, uh, she's been in the game for a minute. Uh, tough girl, um, seen a lot, but I mean, 11-9 record, uh, got complete, I mean, a few fights ago, got completely knocked out by Piala and Bianca. I remember that 11 months ago that she got destroyed. Uh, lost a fight to Elise Reed, which is a horrible look. Uh, I don't, I don't like that as a loss. And, uh, and to Vanessa Demopoulos. So, um, she's, she's fought some tough 30 girls and she's come out on the other side, uh, <laughs> of the win loss bracket. And, uh, it's just not a good look for her. I think she's kind of, she's not, she's not in the prime. And I think just being 38 at this weight class, against these kind of girls, it's just a tough, tough, tall order to ask for her to go out there and win. And uh, I just don't think she gets it done. I got Victoria Dudovica, or however you say this girl's name, uh, to get the victory or via decision um, over uh, Jin Frey. Um, next fight, Nathaniel Wood versus Muhammad Namayev. Um, great fight uh, in the featherweight division. Uh, I love this fight. Nathaniel Wood has probably been one of my favorite fighters and or I guess prospects of the 145 division to watch. He fights so well, really, really well-rounded, really good striking, um, really good grappling. Just his ultimate kryptonite is his chin. Uh, Mohamed Namayev showed us in his last fight he can he can squat and uh, just knocking out Jamie Malarkey the way he knocked him out makes him a legit threat for Nathaniel Wood. So this what makes this fight great. You have the technical brilliance of Nathaniel Wood going up against the legitimate power of Mohamed, and um, and it might might end up cracking uh, Wood's dreams of getting the victory. So you, you have a really good fight here where you can see. Both sides uh, kind of potentially get the W here, so that's what makes this fight really interesting. Um, I, I got I got Nathaniel Wood winning, uh, even though the KO threat is there, his durability isn't the best, but um, I think he can weather the storm uh, and get a decision victory here. I, I think he's just too quick, too good on the feet, and if he needs to um, if he needs to mix it up on the ground, he, he can. Definitively win that way, so I uh, wouldn't be too surprised. Um, so I got Wood here uh, getting the victory. Uh, next by Anna Schul, uh Jubilee versus Mike Breeden. Uh, I, I'm, I'm gonna go with the, the Indian kid here to get the victory here by decision. I think he just gets a wrestle fuck uh, kind of uh, <laughs> decision. Takes uh, Mike Breeden to the grinder. Uh, I think Mike Breeden's just uh, you know he's here to lose. Uh, no disrespect to Breeden, but. Um, he hasn't won any of his UFC fights. I mean, just completely washed out by guys like uh, Alexander Hernandez and Terrence McKinney. Uh, Natan Levy beat him. Um, it, it's just, I think this just goes to Jubilee style of uh, kind of just getting the, the takedowns he needs, getting the control time, and uh, just inking out a decision victory. Uh, that's just how I see the fight going. So it's kind of my prediction there. Um, so yeah, uh, next fight though. So I got Jubilee by decision. Uh, next fight is Cedric Dumas versus Abu, uh, Abu Izatar. Um, this is the big Izatar brother. Uh, hasn't fought in damn near two years. Uh, last fight was against uh, Andre Barrett and Barrett completely destroyed him. Uh, Cedric Dumas uh, went over Cody Brundage. Looked really good. Um, I was actually somewhat semi-impressed. Uh, he's really long, bro. 6'2", 79 inch reach is insane bro it's crazy long arms um man dude probably can get a bunch of guillotines might, might end up being the new dark knight of 185 but um the reaper uh dumas man he, he's legit man he's really really legit i shouldn't say he's legit he's a <laughs> he's a legit prospect to look for uh i'm not gonna say that actually he's somewhat 
athletically he's legit uh size wise he's legit he's like um i don't know if he's ever going to be there technically but uh but my, my main point is basically he has so much potential based on his athleticism he's someone to look out for because it can really turn into something uh something special but i don't know if he can really reach to that reach to that golden echelon of his career where you could be like oh man this guy's the next john jones but he is i mean a freak though uh to, to be that tall and to have those kind of long arms like that that just doesn't make sense you got to be like to have that kind of length I, on your arms out six four or you know six five is that is the average and he's long bro but basically my point is he's gonna beat up Oz, Izatar. just how he does it is the thing but i'm gonna take him by decision here over abu Izatar. i kind of went on a big diatribe uh about nothing but hey it is what it is um next fight job at basra versus victor henry uh this is gonna be a good scrap man i, I think basra is legit and he's He's really good. Um, I'm, I'm always been impressed watching him fight, but, um, the thing with him though is, um, he's again, another guy. He's really good, but he's not championship material. He's top 10 material though. I could see that. I could see that. He's a, he's a workhorse kind of fighter. He's good everywhere, but just not great in one particular area. And yeah, man, uh, that's what makes it kind of interesting here. Uh, Victor Henry's kind of the same way. Really good. Uh, on the feet but not great on the feet and has decent scrambling ability and decent wrestling uh and you know always brings the fight um his last loss was against rafael sanso i called that uh everyone called me crazy uh his best win i guess in the ufc is against ronnie barcelos one of the first guys to beat ronnie barcelos uh legitimately uh after tamir valley have got the the decision victory over barcelos um and it was a good win for Victor Henry, but a lot of people hyped him up. People called me crazy when I said Asanso was going to beat him, and Asanso beat him. Uh, he's coming off one over Tony Gray via split decision. Uh, Basra, it's on a really crazy win streak. Uh, I mean, his last one was against Matus uh, Mendoka. Not the best uh, thing that happened in that fight, uh, comparing to what happened just recently. Uh, you know, Mendoka taking him to decision after he just got finished recently isn't the greatest look, but, um, but yeah. But, you know, he has wins over Tony Gray, too. Uh, Trevor Jones, uh, he, he's been really solid in the UFC. Um, I think it's going to be an interesting fight. I think Victor Henry's going to push him. I think it's going to be a close 29, 28 kind of fight, but I think Javich might have a grappling edge here. Uh, he could take this ground if he needed to. Um, but should be a really good fight. And, uh, I got Javich. I think he's the better minute winner here. And I think Victor might get a little tired. So yeah, that's a possibility. Um, next fight, Muhammad Yaya versus Trevor Peak. Uh, I, I love this fight. Um, this is going to be a really good fight. Uh, Trevor Peak is a scrapper. He's a scrapper. Um, obviously, I think Mom and Yaya is going to be looking for the takedowns here um, to kind of slow down Trevor Peak. I, do I think Trevor Peak might go out there and smoke him? Maybe, but I don't know, man. He, he lost to Chepe, and I didn't think Chepe was that good. But Chebe just ended up winning his last fight, so it's a really weird situation uh, that's going on. But uh, I'm going to take Muhammad Yaya here. I think the takedowns might be too much, but I wouldn't be surprised if Peak uh, ended up getting the victory here. But uh, via meme KO. <laughs> but yeah, it would be kind of funny. Um, next fight, I got a breakdown on this. Uh, Tim Elliott versus Muhammad Makayev. I got Tim Elliott here via decision. But go check the breakdown coming up uh, later this week. Uh, I go more in depth on why I'm, I'm picking Tim Elliott here. But yeah. Uh, next fight, uh, Saeed Nurmagomedov versus uh, uh, Muin uh, Gafarov. Um, great fight uh, in the in the in this 135 division. Uh, I love this fight. Uh, Gafarov, legit. You know, uh, I thought he gave uh, John Castaneda a really good fight. Um, and he, he had some good moments. Said Madoff also legit. Um, so it should be a really good fight, actually. I'm actually kind of hyped. I think the length and the speed of, of, Mag of Said Namagamadoff might be a problem for Gafrob. I, I think that's going to be the, the biggest tale of this fight. Uh, Said's really good, man. He's really good. And I thought the Martinez fight... I know some people will disagree with the decision, actually. I, I actually agreed with the decision. I didn't pick Saeed to win that fight. Um, I think Saeed just kind of got slowed down by the leg kicks. And he, but he said he's super tough, man. And he did a lot of good things like going for takedowns, making, making good adjustments, 
when he's obviously compromised. So I think Saeed, if he makes a few tweaks to his game, honestly, I, I see top 10 potential on him. Real talk. Like he can be something really special in the division. If he just makes a few tweaks, he makes little small errors in, in his game. And that's why he has those losses to Barcelos and obviously Martinez and some other people. But, um, if he just makes a few tweaks in his game, he, he can be really legit. But yeah, I'm, I'm rocking with uh, Namaga Madoff here by decision. It should be a really good fight. Uh, next fight, Ikram Luskra versus uh, Worley Alves. Uh, I think Ikram all day, however he really wants. I, I'm going to say it would be a finish here because uh, that's what's been happening to Worley Alves lately. Well, he went to a decision against Dolby, but uh, the Jeremiah Wells loss is just bad. But uh, I'm going to say via via TKO. I think he gets him out of there in the second round. I think he controls Worley Alves, breaks him down, and grounds and pounds him to death. Uh, I think Worley, I mean, you know, he's, he, he's still kind of young. Worley can still fuck some people up. Um, but I just think this isn't the right matchup for him. Short notice power boost, maybe, maybe I could kind of see it, but I just don't, I don't think Ikram's going to allow that. I think Ikram should be ready for a really good fight here. Uh, Ikram's been in camp for a long time, man. Uh, I remember he was announced for a fight against, uh, Costa that kind of just fell apart. Um, and then obviously he had the Imava, uh, Imava fight and then that fell apart. Um, so he's been ready for high level comp. Uh, for a minute, I think this is going to be a downgrade in what he expects. But if he comes in there super disciplined, uh, ready to destroy, I, I think he gets war the Alvis hell. So, um, yeah, I, I think this is going to be an Ikram Aliskrov master class income. And so, yeah. Uh, next up though, Magomed Ankalai versus Johnny Walker. I have a breakdown on this coming up. I got Johnny Walker by throw around TKO. Uh, I think he smashes, um, did I say Johnny Walker by third? I, I got Magomed on Kalaya by third round, uh, TKO. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm like super not there, uh, if you guys could notice. But, um, I got Magomed on Kalaya going out there and destroying Johnny Walker. Um, I, I think, it, I think it'll be a great performance by, uh, on Kalaya. Um, and I think on Kalaya is. He's, I mean, you just compare some of their, you know, performance against, I know it's MMA math, but you compare some of their performances against common opponents, Nikita Krylov, Krylov puts on a wrestling clinic on Walker, and Magomed Ankalaev ends up out, outwitting and outlasting, uh, uh, Krylov in their fight. So I, I think that that's kind of like, kind of the just I'm kind of going off of. Obviously, matchups, uh, and just styles makes fights. Obviously, that that is the truth. And Walker's a big KO threat, and Uncle Live could get KO'd here. But uh, I think Uncle Live, if he just moves his head, doesn't get caught with shit, gets the fight to the ground, um, grounds and pounds Walker, beats him up on the feet. I, I can see him even knocking him down on the feet. So uh, I I wouldn't be surprised if um, Magomed Uncle Live KOs uh, Johnny Walker on the feet. Would not be surprised at all. So yeah, it is what it is. Um, Next fight in the co-main event, Kumar Usman versus Kamzat Chamayev. I have a breakdown on this. I, I got Kumar Usman uh, winning this fight via decision um, and defeating the evil uh, Bumzat Chamayev. But I'll go more in depth with that in my breakdown coming out pretty soon, hopefully, probably tomorrow or something like that. But uh, but yeah, it is what it is. And in the main event, I, I gave my breakdown out, uh, I think, on Friday. I... I <laughs> Alexander Volkanovsky versus Islam Makachev, the rematch. I'm picking uh, Alexander Volkanovsky, like I did the first time, to get this fight done via fifth round TKO. Uh, I, this time, he finally gets the rat out of there. But yeah, I'm picking uh, Alexander Volkanovsky to, to get it done. But I, obviously, if you've seen my breakdown, you kind of know why I feel the way I feel. I think it should be a great fight. Uh, and, and yeah, man, can't wait for it. But yeah, go check out that breakdown if you want a more in-depth idea of why I'm going and we'll, in the direction I'm going. But hope you guys enjoyed this full card uh, predictions. I'm sorry if I sound a little off, if I just sounded like I was not there. Uh, ultimately, I guys have to realize I'm just three hours ago, I was just in the hospital. So I'm just trying to make this video because you know, I wanted to get this out of there. How much I love you guys, you know, how much I love this eBay fight predictions uh, nation. But yeah, I'm gonna try to be more smart on how I, how much alcohol I take. Uh, I'm never doing that again. I'll probably never touch alcohol ever again. <laughs> <laughs> fuck alcohol but uh it is what it is but yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video go follow me on my instagram and my twitter like comment and share video let's get this ebay fight prediction nation on love y'all and goodbye YouTube channel i'm gonna go check that out and uh hey subscribe to ebay's fight prediction let's keep the ebay fight predictions nation growing